On today's show, we're going to be talking about the OTG USB cable for your Mavic slash Spark slash whatever drone you've got. And do you actually need it anymore? Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live show here on the YouTube every weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. Monday, every weekday? No, I said that. That's not right. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. Getting ahead of myself, going back in time. I used to do the show every day. Got to be a bit much. But every third day, Monday, Wednesday, whatever it is, you get the idea. We're here. We're talking about things, photography, video, flying cameras, live streaming cameras, all kinds of fun stuff. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. You know how the whole thing works. Um, today, we're talking about this little tiny thing here, the OTG cable. That's not like original something gangster cable. It is on-the-go cable. Why it's called an on-the-go cable, I haven't got a clue, but that's what it's called. This, this tiny, tiny little cable allows you to connect your phone to the remote of your Spark or Mavic or whatever drone you're flying via a cable uh -huh. instead of wirelessly. Why would you want to do this? And is it even necessary anymore? So here's, here's the thing. Initially, you kind of really wanted it because the connection between these two things, which is done over Wi-Fi, was a little bit sketchy and not so great. So someone came up with the genius idea of using this. There's a port on here that's designed for charging, but apparently you can connect this and this and it all works. But then DJI has upgraded their software over the, what, years, I suppose, but especially quite a bit recently. And there's a bunch of videos on YouTube right now of the most recent updates over the last month or so and how you no longer need this. And I think that's great that you don't need this anymore. But I still like using it, and I'm going to show you why, because we're going to go to connect this thing over Wi-Fi how you're supposed to, and now admittedly, because this is a live show, what's probably going to happen is it will connect like it's supposed to, unlike it does every single freaking time I use it where it doesn't connect and I have to restart this to get it to show up where I can just use this instead. So that's all there is to it. So we're going to take a look at it. We're going to look at the process of how it connects. Um, I'm going to hopefully show you how it fails to connect, and then that'll really drive the point home of why I use this, if it naturally does connect because it's a live show. And I don't know what to tell you. I'm just going to connect it anyway and show you how that works. But before we do that, let's just see what's going on in the comment room. For those who are watching live, if you've got a question during the show, make sure you type at Photo Joseph in front of it like these fine folks here have done. There is an at Photo Joseph. I see that in red. I know that there's a question. And Ben 5 Shuttle is saying hello from Lincolnshire and correcting me. I was talking about the Mavic, the new one, Mavic, I couldn't remember the name, Mavic Air. We're going to be doing an unboxing of one of those later this week. Not mine. My buddy Sean Mark Nipper is coming in with his. As soon as it arrives, we're going to have some fun with that. Good morning, Jake. Good morning, everybody. And uh, people are just talking about how much they love their Mavic. I mean, there's some really cool stuff. These Mavic drones, all of them are pretty, pretty bitchin'. So um, anything else before we get, move on? Nope, let's just move on into the show. So here's the dealio. Well, first of all, you know, I wanted to point this out. So I've got, there's the remote, right? I've got the iPhone 10. Uh, and it fits fine in here, as you would expect. This is, I still have to, anybody want to buy an iPhone 7 Plus? I really need to sell this thing. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I really got to sell it. If you want to buy it, comment, reach out. I got to sell this thing. This fits in here beautifully. It's a really nice, big screen. So when you're doing the thing on the here, it's great. Like, that is awesome. Loved that screen for it. This is too big for the OTG cable, at least the one that I bought. We'll link to the one that I bought down below. Maybe you can find longer ones, but this will not fit. There's just not enough. See, it's a tiny little cable. You can use an iPad mini. Now, I had tried to fit my iPad mini into here many times, and you go, okay, open it as wide as it goes, and it's pretty clear that that ain't going to fit in there. Right here, let's do a little close-up here. Uh, a little close-up. Actually, let me zoom out of this. Now that it's zoomed out, let's do a little close-up here. And, oh, it's brilliantly positioned. Probably should learn to position these things in advance. This doesn't kind of fit, obviously, right? I mean, that's fairly obvious. But then I saw a video where someone had figured out how to make it fit. I did it. I'm not so sure it's a good idea. You have to like really, you open this up all the way and then you really got to squeeze this in and the corners pop out through the corners there and it, you can fit it, but I, I think you do it too many times. You're going to end up breaking those little arms. It's like, you know, that millimeter too short. And besides you end up with this really huge thing, it's kind of hard to reach the controller. So I don't think using this is that advantageous. It'd be nice to have the bigger screen, but no. Nah. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to do it with the 10 today because that does fit, it does work, and that's how we're going to connect this thing. Um, so let's let's get this thing started. Let me open up my phone here, and I'm going to switch over to the top-down view in a moment. The, the order of events in which you connect all of these is really important for this to work. Otherwise, it won't work. So turn these two guys on first. I don't think it matters which one of these you turn on first, but as you all know, press and then press and hold to get it to turn on. And it makes that lovely sound. 
eventually, sooner or later. There it is. So that's going. I know the propellers they always go eat like this, and you always think, eh, but they don't. They don't spin. They just do that. And then this guy, the remote, same thing. Press and hold makes a god awful. It gives the most hideous sound. It's just an awful sound. Okay, so now let's go to the top down view. Now you can see that the let's get this out of the way. The Mavic, oh, the Mavic, the uh, Spark is flashing yellowish green. This little red light there is flashing red. These are not connected yet. So we're going to wait for these two to find each other. Um, find them, find each other like, like star-crossed lovers. They are going to eventually find each other. This will pulse much more slowly, and this will go solid green, I think, is the right thing. That's the battery status on there. Battery's getting a little low on there, but that's okay. And we're just going to wait for those to connect because that's what we want to do. We want to make sure those connect before we proceed. And there's nothing like waiting for a Wi-Fi connection to establish itself on live broadcast. There it goes, waiting for that to go. So that's green. There we go, slowly pulsing. Boom, flashing, we're good to go. Excellent, two thumbs up. Okay, so that's good to go. So now I would, in theory, go in here, open the settings on my iPhone here, go into the Wi-Fi settings, and I should see the controller. Now the controller is gonna show up in here labeled RC, remote control, DJI, something, something or other. Let me make this just a little bit brighter. Finding the right brightness for this screen so it shows up well on your monitor is key. And, Excellent. As I expected, it's not there. It is never, ever, ever there on the first time. It just doesn't show up. I could toggle the Wi-Fi on and off. I back out of the settings, go back into this. It never, ever shows up. So what I have to do is I have to power this down and then power it back up, and then it'll show up. Now, I don't know about you, but that's so annoying. It just drives me crazy. And it really makes me concerned that, well, if the connection is gonna just not be there? What happens if it decides to go, oh, bye bye in the middle of a flight? Nah, not cool. Okay, so it's not showing up. Now I know, I know if I power cycle the remote, it will then show up, it'll connect and it'll all work well. This is with the latest firmware, everything is up to date, so it just, maybe it's my unit, I don't know, don't care. That's why I have this. So now that these two are talking to each other, now we're ready to connect, almost ready to connect this, but there's one more thing we wanna do on here first. So you may have seen, flying your Mavic or Spark or whatever before, you get messages pop up, oh, disable Bluetooth, it's getting interference, yada, yada. So one of the beauties of this system is that you are going to disable your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth so there's no radio interference. If you're wearing an Apple Watch, which has also got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, we're gonna disable that as well and we're gonna do it all with one touch and that's by putting the device into airplane mode. Now here's something really, really important. Let me, let's do this. Let's go back to the overhead view here. So. This is the, uh, the control panel thing, right? If I go in here and I turn off Wi-Fi, notice how it's just gone white. This is not actually disabled. All it's doing is not connecting to your local net networks automatically. It's just basically dropped a connection to the networks, but the Wi-Fi is still turned on. If you go into airplane mode, however, now notice that it's a gray and it's got a little line through it. So I realize it's a little hard to see from that camera, but anyway, it's gray with a line through it. So now it's truly turned off. This is a massively important differentiation. It's something that was not clear in earlier versions of iOS 11. Is that what's on there now? Whatever this iOS is. Um, you didn't know for sure. I mean, you didn't. there was no indication that when you tap that, you weren't actually turning off the Wi-Fi or actually turning off the Bluetooth. In the latest update, they've changed that, so now you actually get an indicator that, that I just showed you. But if you tap the airplane mode, that disables everything. It has also now put my watch into airplane mode, so all the antennas are turned off right now. Uh, let's see here. Ben Five Shuttle's got a question. I'm going to bring this up real quick here. He says, I'm confused with the Mavic product line at the minute. I'm assuming there's still going to be a Mavic Pro 2. Hasn't the Mavic Air gone to Wi-Fi for flight control connectivity? I don't know what the Mavic Pro, Mavic Air is for the connectivity. That I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get one. Um, don't know if there's going to be a Mavic Pro 2. I don't see why there would be, given that the Mavic, the original Mavic versus the Mavic Air, like everything that's in there is in the air, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm not an expert on these things. But that's the one that I want. I can tell you that much right now. Okay. So let's go back to this. So back to the overhead view. So this is now all Wi-Fi connectivity. All antennas are turned off on here. So this is good. Now we're safe to connect the cable. So what you want to do is launch your DJI app, or as my wife likes to call it, the Digi, the DG. And you see it says disconnected. Makes sense because we haven't, there's no Wi-Fi connection. And now we can go ahead and connect the cables. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna connect it like this, even though it's not plugged in, like mounted in, just to make it easy, just so I can kind of quickly do it. Gotta find the right direction, plug that thing in. 
So there's a little tiny, actually here, let me show you this. There's a little tiny cable. Let's go for zoom on the close up here. Uh, I think it'll focus on close. There we go. There we go. That little guy right there, that's what we're plugging in. So we're taking this guy and plugging that in. And I just realized the monitor that I'm looking at here. I took off earlier today from here and we realized because of the metal desk, it was not behaving and it flew back and it smashed into my reference monitor here. And I just realized there's all these scratches on my monitor now. That's really sad. I'm sad. Anyway, back to it. So we're going to plug in these things. So let's go to, let's go back to the overhead view and plug this guy in. And once I plug that in, there we go. As soon as I plug that in, you're going to see, boom, connected. Now it pops up and it says, this accessory may not be supported. That's just what it does. And you say dismiss. And then occasionally you get this error, inconsistent firmware found. Actually, I'm glad that that error showed up because this showed up once, but not every time I did it. That's okay. So here's one of the problems, I guess, with using the OTG cable. You can't, or limitations, you can't update firmware over the OTG cable. So if you're going to do a firmware update, you have to connect over Wi-Fi, do your updates, and then you can use the cable again. It may give you this error, inconsistent firmware, but when you connect via Wi-Fi, you'll see that your firmware is all up to date. So it's an error. I think we can safely ignore it. Hopefully we can safely ignore it. What the hell? I don't know. Um, and off we go. So, uh, so now that that's connected, we're just going to say cancel because we're not going to update. I hit start flight, and it now is connected to that. So we are obviously not connected. Uh, we're not getting GPS because I'm indoors, yada, yada, but that's okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to now mount this thing into here. It's a, it can be a little tricky to get this thing in in a good, clean way with that cable in there. There's a slot in here for the cable to pop through, but it's not long enough to come out of here and wrap around. And if I try to center the phone, it's going to be, it doesn't, it's, the cable's not long enough. And this is with the 10. So maybe with a, the, like the 8 non-plus, it would be okay. But this one, it doesn't, it's just not really big enough. So you got you to gotta really, you got to kind of hold it off center a little bit. But that's okay. So there we are. We're off center. Excellent. There we go. And we are, haha, ready to fly. No, we're not really going to fly. I'm kidding. Let's, let me... Hold on, let me just stop. Go away, there we go. I'm not crazy, what do you think, I'm nuts? I've already ruined my monitor this morning. I'm not gonna do that again. But that's all there's to it, right, that's it. So you have to do it in that order. Power up the Digi, power up the remote, wait for them to connect, launch the app, turn on airplane mode, so all the antennas have turned off, and then connect the cable. And so far, I've been using it for a couple of weeks. So far, it's been rock solid, super nice and pretty. Okay, let's turn this fan off now because this is loud and obnoxious. And there we go. Ah, much better. So that's it. That's all there is to it. You tell me. You guys who are flying these guys, put me uh, put put something in the chit chat comments below. What do you think? Do you are you still using the cable? Have you found that it's not needed anymore? If you had it, do you find that the Wi-Fi connection is as unreliable as me? Do I do you have to recycle, repower cycle your remote controller every single time? Super annoying. Um, tell me what you think. Let us let me know in the comments, and uh, and we'll take it from there. And like I said, it's you know, it works. It works. It's consistent. It's good. There's some funkiness to it. You get that this accessory is not supported. You have to ignore. Occasionally, you get an inconsistent firmware update that you have to ignore. But I like the physical connection, and I like that not having to re-power cycle my remote because God only knows what's going to happen with that. Uh, Burn Six says, "Eek! Firmware over Wi-Fi spells disaster." Yeah, I've definitely had some issues during firmware updates on this thing over Wi-Fi and had problems with it and ended up having to plug it into my computer and then doing the update that way, which works fine. But, you know, it's, they're getting better. I would say that all this stuff is getting better, but it's definitely pre pretty sketch still. Um, I saw a video over the weekend where someone was commenting on how the latest update, and this is probably a month or two old video, the latest update finally allows them to scan the, with the app, to scan the QR code on the back of the remote to make that connection. Well, that's cool except that my QR code, I mean, this thing is like totally, completely disaster. Come on there, oh, it's too close. I gotta, I'm gonna have to get a different lens on here because I cannot. Okay, there you go, see? You can't even see the QR code. It's completely rubbed off. So I tried to do that, that didn't work because I just can't read it. So that means you have to go into the Wi-Fi settings, enter the password, all that crap. This is so much easier. It just works. It just works. And there we go. OTG cable is a must. Jeremy says, Hans says OTG cable on the go. I like it. So yeah, it's, it works, man. It's just, it just does. It just works. Uh, Sean says, 
I, Sean's the one who turned me on to this cable, who showed me where to get it. We'll put that link down below again. I tried to fly without the cable, and I will say, although it is a little better, I still don't like flying without it. Yeah, almost all my cameras have Wi-Fi built in, a bit of a risk to combine with flying the Mavic and use them at the same time. Yeah, the, you know, all the Wi-Fi just, ah. Uh. Hagen says, always use the cable. Since now it's working, just stick with the cable and never try the wireless solution anymore. Yeah, see, look at that. Everybody seems to like it. Yeah, everybody seems to like that. Sean Ryan's saying, can't say this spark hasn't crashed. Oh, this one has definitely. I cannot believe this thing still flies. Honestly, I have beat the crap out of this thing. I am shocked and surprised that it still flies. All right, that is it, folks. Uh, before you go, a couple of things here real quick. Wednesday's show is high resolution mode on the G9. You like the graphic there? Is that, is that kind of cool? Is that clever? Is that kind of fun? Um, so we're going to be talking about how that works, explaining the tech behind it. Also, last week, we did a video on the iLighter, the Westcott iLighter. Um, so if you haven't missed that, if you've missed that video, you haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. It, you can see it's still hanging out back there behind me. I think it's so cool, doing portraits and beautiful, beautiful thing. Check out that video. And tomorrow, there's way too many videos in a week. Tomorrow, I'm doing a uh, continuing on with the photos education. This is going to be talking about curves. And you remember that I told you last week, if you are... Even if you're not using photos, but you have any questions, confusion around how curves work and what they're for and how to get the most out of them, you're going to want to watch this session because we're really going to dive into how curves work and what you can do. And it's not about where I'm going to be using photos, but it's irrelevant. Curves are the same everywhere. So um, so that's, that's what tomorrow's is going to be about. So that, my friends, is everything that we've got going on today. I hope you have yourselves. Sean, Sean wants to hear a story. Okay, 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 okay. God, he's like an essay in my ear. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan's telling me that Sean wants me to tell a story about flying in the hotel and almost getting busted. How about when you're on the air next week or later this week and we do the unboxing, you can ask me the story then. We'll tell that story then. It's a good story. We also kind of sort of shared the story in the last week. Anyway, all right, that's it, guys. Take care of yourselves. I'm getting out of here. Have yourselves a lovely week. It is a Monday. Have a fabulous rest of the week, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.